Welcome to part two of the Menta Roulette journey. To quickly summarize, Menta Roulette has an achievement for completing 2,000 roulettes, where the duty you get can be almost absolutely anything in the game. Such a huge number of duties is seen as a challenge to complete beyond just the achievement. Part of what I want to do for this series is also have conversations, for as long as I have topics to bring up. There has been a lot said about the Menta system, and especially with Menta Roulette. So let's start with a basic topic, the Astro. The mount you get for 2,000 Menta Clears. Thanks to this random in Idleshire, I can show you the mount in the flesh. It's kinda huge for a horse, bigger than even some of the Savage mounts you can get, but of course, still smaller than some other mounts like Cerberus. Maybe it's just me though, but this mount also doesn't really look all that good. I've never been a fan of it beyond the completionist aspect. What made this really special beyond owning it was its attribute. This was one of the very first, very few two-player mounts. Back when this was new, you basically only had the one from the Recruit a Friend campaign and Marriage. If there was any others at the time, I do not remember. Now we have easily obtained multi-seaters, ones like the Regalia anytime the Final Fantasy XV event comes around, and if you want to just pay money, the eight-seater whale. So that aspect of the mount is less enticing, leaving only the value players might inscribe in it, the quote-unquote prestige of doing 2,000 roulettes, which can be extremely mentally draining if you're actively trying to help. If all you're doing is clearing as fast as you can, as quiet as you can, of course it's easier. It's just another duty. The confusing part to me, though, is that people are angry there's any reward at all, that you should not be rewarded for hard work, which whether you want it to be or not, this roulette ends up being hard work. Do these people also think teachers should not be paid? You wouldn't think they are directly comparable, but sadly some people do actually think teachers being underpaid is a good thing. People actively learning and listening to advice is a reward in itself, but how often do you think that is? As I'll go over later, there's a lot of abuse you get instead, often from the same people saying that the reward is too much. Often silence is the ideal outcome after giving advice. At least you can't get insulted if they silently ignore your advice. So really, why should there be literally no reward? That would just make it even less queued for as it is, and mean less people get help, since just by the nature of this existing, there are people getting help. Queues will be filled at the bare minimum. Improvements are good, but this just makes things worse, especially when there's clearly no intent to remove it. That'll be all for now though. Let's get into the roulettes this time around. I get my first extreme, but also, beware of spoilers for this one especially. I got not only the final trial of Endwalker, I got the final dungeon and final trial of the base Endwalker content. So like every possible major spoiler is in here. I'm not totally sure how to handle this without just cutting them, but I want to show what I get. So maybe I could do like, spoiler timestamps in the description? I'll do that for this one, but give me ideas otherwise. Anyway, there's your warning. Not much I can do, the roulette gives what it wants. Part 3, technically, well, I guess episode 2 now. Episode 2, part 3, because I do these in, like, one hour chunks, so I don't go crazy. Patch happened, this is Thursday, so patch happened two days ago, but you never know. Summoner is 650, that should be good. Should upgrade my Mandeville weapon at some point. But I got everything unlocked. Let's do a couple summoners. Wait on cue! There we go! Judy Hest is what I'm- er, Guild Hest. Guild Hest? Guild Hest. Or not. This tank is just really slow. They like- They're not using sprint like at all. Did they, did they just use Cure 1? They ran away from me. Oh, I have to be melee for this? I'm too used to PvP. I'm used to PvP where you can run away and do the slam dunk. I keep forgetting I'm allowed to- I have weaving. I'm so used to PvP! I'm so used to PvP! 
Alright, I'm warmed up now. I remember how to summon her a little bit. Oh, six minutes? That's not a good sign. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, back in we go, I guess. Oh, hey, a prop. Oh, eight man. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Nope, I was gonna. I was not gonna get that. Oh my god, I keep forgetting PvP. I. PvP is. I get so much range in PvP. Why is it a melee skill here? I keep forgetting. No! That was a big fat finger. Don't hit any buttons, don't hit any buttons. Why did they rescue me? Uh, and now at the boring finale. Little early on that addle. I did not want to use it. I wanted to use it here. Not that I would have been able to, because cast lock. Oh my god, my raid and he just saved me. Oh my god. Oh, oh wait. I legitimately forgot I'm summoner. I went fight or flight. I went fight or flight mode. I should have been so I should have been raising like from the beginning. I'm not used to Summoner. I was not expecting Summoner to actually come into play. I legitimately forgot I was Summoner. Oh, we're here again. Well, this is gonna be so easy as a mage. Like, have you never- if you've ever played Monster Hunter as, like, one of the ranged jobs- or jobs- as one of the ranged, you know how easy this is. You know how easy you have it as a gunner. Like, look how, look at how much time, even they had time to move. Like, holy crap. Infinite amounts of time. Infinite time. I was gonna say, you, you can heal this phase. This phase is all healing. Someone has to. Failed. And we wiped. Well, let's hope this one goes better, question mark. I gave him the tip that, hey, Rathalos has a blind spot to his back left. If you ever, for whatever reason, get this duty, stand on his back left, like behind that triangle on his left side. Stand behind that, and you're good. You're golden. You're, you're never gonna die. Sup? Bye. Loser. Someone has to go up. They just need to focus on healing me. I tried to call out that we need to use potions now. Oh, this is not good. Nope. Ooh! Alright, let's get it this time. We got this. Nope, nope, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out! Nope, 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 I'm out. Don't die, don't die, anyone, don't die. Just don't, don't die, don't die. 
They're dead. They're dead. Why did he just walk into the fire? Why did he walk into the fire? I guess I could do some tanking. What's a need, so. Why did he walk into the fire? It's literally fire on the ground. You don't stand in fire. It's a guild hast, okay. Wow, so hard. Wow. Ooh, thousand maws. I just did this the other, like, week on my alt. <laughs> Look at them plates. I'm the only one with anything. Um, hello? Hello? Heels? Please heels? Please heels? Thank you. Yeah, uh, they're, they're so far behind. You always want to hug the tank. When the tank is moving, you you move. Tank move, you move. We didn't even get LB1, what? Hello, easiest savage ever made. But the normal mode version. Wow, a countdown of any kind? That's amazing. That's like, that's, that's big brain tier. The astrologian just asked about Mr. Where are the eels? Where are the eels? It's pretty cheap, it's pretty pretty. Where were the eels? Where are the eels? I should have used this guy for my video about off tanking, because this is another fight that you want to stack the tanks. Where are the eels? All right, so Paladin Dunzo, I guess I guess I'll do some healing. Actually, it could be a guild has right? Yeah, duh. It's not. Ew. Ew. This place. Dragoon and Paladin are both not AOEing. Time to tell them to. How did that guy see me first? I was behind the tank. The Dragoon got sassy. Well, at least they are AoEing. They're not just being sassy. I like waiting for three stacks on that boss, because then... He's basically guaranteed to not have to ever do a second round. Even if for whatever reason your DPS is so low that you need more. Yeah, no, it, it just doesn't happen. Uh-oh, that person is probably dead. I'm gonna... I, oh, I can't even target them. That was a really good save on me. I thought they were being like super smarmy at first, but now they don't know they're just having a chat with me. The Dragoon, I mean. They're like, hey, you seem to know a lot of stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm, I've been playing for 1100 days, you know. No big deal. I actually got two rescues in one dungeon. Like, two proper, like, player saving rescues. Like, wow! That boss is just terrible. 
I'll actually calm the 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 dragoon for listening and like being a good sport about it. I'm glad they're listening. They're they we're having a little chat now. I thought they were being like super snarky at first, but no, I think they just they just weren't sure about it. Hey, guess what? You're in the video. I'm not gonna show your name because I don't do that. But hey, hey, you're in the video. Hi. Oh wow, here. Looks like I'm not healing this dungeon. What's a healing? I don't need heal. All I need is holy. Okay, maybe I do have to do a little bit of healing. Holy crap, this used to be difficult to do. You could probably kill th two, three if your DPS was insane. Now we're killing all four pandily. Jeez, power creep. That used to be like impossible. What is healing? I am stone mage. I am Earth Mage. I am Geomancer. Look at all this Geomancy I'm doing. See? Geomancer confirmed for 7.0. Even though this is Stormblood content. I miss this boss. I miss the, the good version of it. They didn't do the mechanic! All you had to do was do the mechanic! Well, they won. Barely, but they won. Yeah, yeah, hit me with that. I don't care. Okay, maybe I care a little. If you're gonna follow up with a fire blast, maybe I care a little. Whoop. That's hitting me. No, it's not. Oh my god, I was on the edge. I pixelated- I pixel perfected that one. Under the armor. They're trying to speed run. And they're gonna disappear. Give me my reward. I don't have to go through the cutscene. Oh, oh, it was the Dragoon who disappeared first, we'll answer. So, all. Yeah, who needs to fight the bees? You don't fight bees, you fight... You fight flowers. Kill the flowers, save the bees. Even though they're hornets, but, you know, same thing. Well, if you're not gonna limit break, I'm gonna limit break, because I want it. It's my limit break. It's my turn to spin. I guess I could go samurai. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. Save me, please. Please, no! Please, no! They didn't save me. That ain't good. Eat the orbs! Eat the orbs! No, are they? Okay, we're fine. Hey. You're in the video too. Okay, good. It's final day. I thought it was something else. I thought. I thought this was... Thing X. Oh. This is a spoilery one. That's a lot of crowns. Ah, uh, fight still. Yeah. Well, that sure was a fight to end on. I stopped because that was all I had time for, but I probably would have needed a break at that point, as you can probably tell. See you next time for whatever comes next. In the meantime, please leave a like, comment, hit subscribe, and maybe check me out on Twitch or the community Discord. Links are all down below. Take care and may the power of Anne and Anidhogsley waste to your enemies.